Hey. Just a little job I need doing. See, there's a merchant upstairs I need something to lift him from. I do it myself, but I'm more into the legitimate document business these days. <laughs> Keep your voice down. Look, he's not a very nice bloke, right? He's Rolo the Stout, and he's currently buying up all the food in the area on the cheap and selling it to the refugees at a huge markup. Just listen, will ya? All I need is his seal. I've a forged letter right here that says he's releasing all the food to the refugees for free. If I can get his personal seal, then I can get his associates to open the stockpiles to the people of the town. You in or not? Well, Rolo isn't called the Stout because he likes to drink the stuff. He's a real pig. Every day, he orders some fancy pie from the cook here. Usually something that will cost a lot to make. So. What we'll do is make up a pie that will put him out of commission for some time. Not poison poison, just something that will put him in the infirmary for a while. Nah, he has it in a chest up there by his table in case he needs to stamp any documents. If he's rushed off to hawk his guts out, I don't think his first priority will be taking it with him. Exactly. So what I need you to do first is take care of the most complex item in the recipe, the pie crust. What we're going to do is mix in a load of fishing bait into the flour. Do you know about the water mill to the south? What you need to do is take some wheat and fishing bait there. You can get wheat from a field to the south of here, just over the bridge. There are a couple of troll bodies on the way to the field that have been left for a while. They have a lot of maggot, um, fishing bait around them. Upstairs, there is a hopper. Put the wheat in the hopper and put the fishing bait on top. Once you've done that, Use the lever nearby to put it all in the mill, then it'll all get mashed up. Now go back downstairs and use your pot to gather up the flour and bring it to me. If you don't have a pot on you, why not go see Mess Sergeant Ramsay in the tavern there? He's probably got one you can have for free in that shop of his. Or you can just make them for free, if you can get some clay. Okay, see you about.
What's up? That's perfect. Don't worry. I'll take care of making this into a pie shell for you in a moment. We also need to fill the pie with something pretty nasty. What we need first is a raw crayfish. I want you to go and get one and bury it in a field. Just shove it right into the dirt and then let it <laughs> ripen for a bit. Just use either the flax field, wheat field or the animal pen for the job. The flax field is closest. It is in the northwest of here, near the master farmer's shop and the well. And don't forget, when you are done, you should come and see me and show me your work. But first, let me take care of that flower for you. Okay, see you about. How are the fish biting? Oh, Sarah Domin, that thing stinks. Just looking at it makes me want to vomit. Perfect. Only one thing left. To give the pie a little more body, we'll add a potato. I want you to go and get a raw potato and shove it down a kebbit hole. If you don't have a potato, then Head Farmer Jones might well have one you can use. Kebbit burrows are full of hair and droppings and all other kinds of nasty waste. So if you just shove it in there and pull it out, it'll be okay. Well, I say okay. Okay, see you about.
Ugh, that thing stinks. I'll never eat that unless we do something to mask the smell. I have an idea, though. One of Rolo's fellow merchants, Foppish Pierre, has been hanging around the mill. He carries a supply of spices on him all the time. If you can pickpocket those, then we'll be in business. So, just go and grab those spices from Pierre and add them to the pie. Then you can take it up to Rolo and see if he swallows it. Watch me! What is this? This is not the scrumptious red berry and distressed quail pie I demanded! torment the quails for as long as I specified. But whatever this is, it does smell delicious. Oh, really? Then I suppose I might try a portion. What is it called? Squishy crust belly filler? I can't say I've ever heard of a squishy crust belly filler before. To make up for not being able to make the pie I ordered. Well, that's quite nice of you. Tell the chef I will only sue him slightly for not making what I ordered. And that if this pie tastes nice, and I might even pay him for it. Thanks. What for? Yes, yes, that's all very well and good. Now be on your way, you jabbering vassal. I have a pie to eat. A squishy crust belly filler, eh? See what it tastes like. Rolo certainly won't be causing any more trouble for a while. <laughs> don't, don't even talk about that. <laughs> 
I'm still queasy from seeing what he did to the stairs as they carted him out. <laughs> they had to sluice them down with buckets and mops. Oh, terrible. But at least the stains are all gone now. Well, with Rolo out of the way, you can go up and steal the seal from his chest. We best move fast, in case he decides to send for it when he comes round. Is there anything else you need to know? Okay, see you about. I saw it. I, I saw all of it. You don't know. You'll never know what I saw. The colors. All the colors. And sometimes none of the colors. The darkness came to me then. With the stench. It protected my mind. But the darkness is still there. The smell, the... The smell of it will never, ever fade. A little ill? A little ill? The gods themselves wept tears of blood at the things he brought to light. Things that should never have been. No! Don't leave me. It will come back for me. Great. Let's get this letter stamped and... Done. Now just take it to Pierre and we're home free. Don't forget to come back. And see me when you're done, okay? For me? Really? Maybe someone found my spices. Don't joke around with me, you, you messenger. Give me that note. What madness is this? He wants me to open the food stores for free? Is he demented? I... I have to contact some people. Leave me. Leave me to my despair. Looks like we're done. I'll let the refugees know. We'll have a good old-fashioned feast. And it's all thanks to you. We'll raise a glass or two to you tonight. There is that. Hopefully the food situation will improve, unless someone else muscles in on the racket. Good point. But for now, let's celebrate.